download GIMP from a trusted source, use GIMP.org. Otherwise you might get an installer that includes malware. GIMP.org is safe. So there I've downloaded it in my downloads folder. And it's a big file, 78 megabytes. If it's tiny, don't use it. You might have to confirm the installation. Choose a language. I'm using English. OK, that. You can just use the install button. But I think it's it's better to use the customise one. Check what you're getting. Next, that. Leave the default installation. One thing, if, you, if you're going to install help, keep the translations. If you're just using English and do not want help later, you can untick that and save 70 megabytes. I'm going to leave it ticked because I'm going to later install help. Next one, you might want to associate GIMP with JPEGs and PNGs. So check your associations. You probably want a desktop icon. Do that. A lot of files to install. Can take a bit of time. Just be patient. There's nearly 2,000 something files, I think. 3,000 files to install. When it's finished, you can close everything down. If you've got a desktop icon, great. If you haven't, you're going to have to find it in the applications in G, GIMP2, that one. But if we start it up, we get what's called the first run and this queries fonts, plugins, all sorts of things. Be patient. Don't touch the keyboard. Don't touch the mouse. Walk away until you get this. And this is known as the default three window setup. And the first thing most people want to do these days is go into Windows menu, single window mode, and then just go and size it up for your computer. Laptops can be a bit short on height, so just get it sized up. And that's the initial installation.